Hey guys, it's Justin again with another Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, this time we're going to talk about uh, a video that's been requested a few times, uh, once recently and a few times in the past. Um, we're going to talk about masking. <clears throat> so, uh, in front of you I've got a bunch of my GPO-1 parts, or my GP-00 parts I should say, and uh, a few of these are going to need to be masked. So these are the parts that I've painted white, and for example, these pieces down here are going to need blue on them. Uh, this one as well. Uh, these parts are going to need some orange, and I believe the rest are fine as they are. So we'll push those back. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing masking. Uh, typically, it becomes a trade off sort of thing. Uh, is it easier to work from lighter to dark? Is it easier to mask a small section? Is it easier to mask a large section? It, eventually it'll boil down to preference. So let me move this over. I'm going to bust out some of this masking tape. Get rid of some of this because I don't need it. That was a little bit of a waste, but whatever. And we're going to go ahead and get the, the biggest issue out of the way first, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's going to be this guy. Uh, so we're only going to be using the medium and the, and the large masking tape today. Uh, there's smaller masking tape available, like thinner. And this is just the way I like to lay it out on the table. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just the way I like to keep it. <clears throat> it's really easy to kind of look at and manipulate this way. Uh, and the large one, and this is a really unused roll. It doesn't get used very often. Because uh, most of the time I end up doing micro masking, which takes forever. That should be good. So. Okay, so we'll put those over here for now. We'll probably have to get more later. Uh, now the first thing we're gonna we're gonna mask is going to be this blue ring around here. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of ways I could have masked this off. A lot of ways. Um, I could have gone ahead and painted this whole thing blue, masked around this edge, and then painted the inside white, which in theory would have worked really well. Uh, but since I'm using a light blue for my pre-shade, I wanted to go ahead and knock the middle out first and then show you a separate way you could do it. Uh, but I very easily could have gone ahead and painted this whole thing, like shaded around this, this ring with the dark blue, then laid down my regular blue, and then put the white in and just use that. Um, and, in actuality that might have actually saved me a lot of time but there's a few other pieces that you know I had to do some other things for so let me grab my knife my good knife and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mask this off so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off little like, I guess this would be one half inch, or maybe it's an inch, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to cut two little squares essentially, two, it's two by two, two by one and a half, something like that. Uh, and I use, I try to use tweezers whenever I'm using masking tape, because I don't want my uh, finger juices isn't the word I'm looking for, but uh, any kind of residue to come off my fingers. And I'm pretty much just going to go like this and get that in that edge. And I'm going to try and flatten it out the best I can. And the same thing goes for this one. You basically want to cover as much area as you can 
in the uh, the spot you're trying to mask. So just push that down, make sure it's in there. Now for the rest of this, I can just use the medium tape. I'm just gonna cut some small squares. Lay that in there. <clears throat> and then for that one, I can just go ahead and bump that up there, get it as close as I can. Same thing for this one. All right, so now that we've got like our perimeter laid out, uh, I'm gonna use my knife. You can use a scriber, you can use a needle, you can use anything you want. And I'm just going to very, 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 very carefully, very gently, very slowly trace this edge. I'm going to come back and trace it the other way. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Just go slow, be careful, there's no need to rush. Now I'm going to use this, and just very slowly, very carefully, because this is a painted surface, pull this masking tape away. And there we have it. <clears throat> now it's not perfect and it definitely needs some work. Uh, but this will be fine for this. Now we're going to take some blue tack. This is something I learned from Child of Mecca. And I'm just going to go ahead and push that tape up in those corners and make sure that it is pressed down. follow as much of this as you can and what this does is prevents it, it pushes down all the edges of the tape and it makes sure that paint doesn't get underneath little tiny bubbles and gaps in the tape while you're painting so I'm gonna mask the other side of this off in a minute uh, we'll do one more just to show off uh, some other masking uh, now the way I'm I'm masking is light to dark you can also do dark to light you can do you can work in, in gradients, you can work the way that you're shading, you can work uh, big areas to small areas, however you want to work. Because uh, again, like I said, I could have very easily just painted this whole thing blue and then masked off all the blue areas and then painted the white in without having to put down an additional base coat. Uh, but it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, so, I'm going to use the small tape for this. Now the first order of business is going to be uh, the wings. So what I'm going to do is lay this up against this panel line. If you can do it, you want to try and get the tape in the panel line. And then you follow the other method as before. 
and it'll be right against the panel line. Now there's some tricky stuff coming up here where I'm going to be, I want this to be blue as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that against that. I probably should have just done that on the first go, but not a huge deal. Now I'll get some small tape and wrap around that. Oh, but basically what I'm doing is this is going to be blue, this is going to be blue, this little piece is going to be blue, and this top piece is going to be blue. Uh, I think the rest of this, if I do another line, it'll be this one right here on this front piece will be blue. But right now, uh, I think this will be enough. Well, I'll look at it once it's all done. Now this one's a little trickier because this was a thin piece and I super glued it together. Alright, so that's pretty much how that's going to go. I'm just going to keep going, and then I will come back and uh, show you what it looks like when it's all done, and then we can spray. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I finally got all these sprayed. Uh, it took me a little while to mask off this thing and a couple of the other pieces, but um, basically... Uh, I also had to go back and spray the off-white pieces, so you, you'll notice there's a ton more pieces here than there were before. Uh, but what I wanted to do was get everything out of the way so I could just do all the blue at one time. And we're going to go ahead and see how this came out. So this one is probably going to look the best, at least I hope. And I try to pull my masking tape off slowly, uh, just in case anything happens I can You know, try and pull it from another direction or something like that and fix it. Uh, so I don't want to pull any of the paint up either. And there we go. So the radome looks pretty good. There's a couple of little smudges inside here. I can just hit that with like a white wash and that'll probably clean up pretty good. Uh, the back side I'm not as concerned about. I still want to take my time pulling the masking off. Uh, but the back side I, I don't really care if it's as clean as the front because it's the back. So let's see what we got. Watch this be like way cleaner. And not too bad. It's about the same as the front. So, a couple of really minor spots that just need to be touched up. But other than that, looks looks fine. Um, now this is where I'm really worried <laughs> because I spent a long time masking this, and I really hope that none of this messed up. Another thing that's weird is masking white off so you can paint blue, um, especially if you're shading, because you'll see a lot of like gradients, and you're not sure if the paint bled just a little bit and like sort of uh, like stained the white to be that blue, or if or if it's the shading, or you know, because that's happened to me as well past. So far, so good.
Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. Nothing I can't touch up with a brush. Just to be tidy about it. Uh, hand brushing small problems isn't really a, a big deal. It's when you get the bigger areas is when you have a problem. on that as well. I completely forgot to mask off this little piece. I think. I don't remember. But so far so good. It's not so bad. Um, that needs cleaning up. That also needs cleaning up. Oh man, now that's a bad one. Look at that. I think I missed like a whole spot. Um, you know, right here. But again, not a huge deal. It's white. Um, I should be able to touch that up relatively easily. Hopefully. For the most part, though, we look we lucked out pretty good. Um, just a few little uh, detail spots that need to be touched up, some corners, things like that. Nothing too major. Uh, all the the major areas that needed masking are covered. See, that looks, that's a lot better. A lot closer to what I wanted. Alright, so, uh, not too bad. A couple minor spots that need to be touched up. But I'm pretty pleased overall. Uh, I will touch those up off camera, and I'll man unmask all the rest of this off camera. Uh, these need more masking for metallics, and I think these are getting some metallic as well. Uh, we'll do this last piece, just so you can see it. Uh, this is the, the actual like wing piece that goes on, the, uh, on that little backpack thing. And this came out super good, on this side at least. Really pleased with that. the other side as well so that came out super good um, where did the other one go let's see if I can just peel this back a little bit so I can get my tweezers in there and we're going two for two side looks good and the other side looks good awesome so those came out great really happy with that uh, so I will uh, see you guys with a future tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, learned a little bit of something it's not really that complicated to mask but it can be a little tricky at times and hopefully you guys you know this helps you guys out a little bit so, I'll see you guys next time. Later.